Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is January 22nd. It's a little chilly, about, not probably about 48 degrees, 50 degrees. I'm in Slidell, Louisiana, and I don't know if you can see it, but right behind me, bam! Look at this bad boy right here. We got a call. AT&T's little station is right here. We got a call to see if we could move these bees off their fence. So good time Charlie and I, we're here, and we're gonna see, just backing these bees up, cut the comb. I don't believe we're gonna be able to save any of this comb, but we're gonna put them back on some comb that I've got up at the abbey. But by the grace of God, man, just hopefully about an hour, we'll have all these girls in the bee back, and we're headed back up to the abbey. Let's wrangle. Well, Charlie and I just finished giving the, the hive a little haircut. Got a, most of the stuff cut away from it. And now it's just a matter of vacuuming the bees. I'm just going to take the whole thing <laughs> and we're going to pick it up and we're going to put it in my car. <laughs> just like that. Just like that. I'm sure it'll come real easy too. All right, so we're going to start the vacuum up and move some of these bees. There are quite a few bees on this one. These have got, and they're, they're really not that bad. I mean, we both got stung already, but they're really not bad. They're not flying in your face real aggressively. And like I said, it is kind of cool. It's right around 50 degrees. It was 33 when I got it this morning, so it's warmed up a lot. Man, what a beautiful, beautiful hive this one is. Look at that.
I know there's a lot of bees in there, but can you see her? Oh, look at that big old red butt shining, huh? Look at that! Wow! Oh, she's big. Yeah, I saw I saw her dip into the comb. I saw that big old red butt, it's like a, a light bulb shining. Yep. And she disappeared, and then I saw her up on the top. That's here, right, right, right here. And that comb is pretty well hacked on. But there's really there's no salvaging this comb. We, I'm going to try to salvage some of the some of that brood comb, but I don't know even if that's worth it. It, it's just with all the sticks growing up inside of the comb, there's no way you can get this stuff out in like sheets. So that's that's just like an impossibility. Now, I haven't seen hardly any honey in this comb at all. And with this number of bees, I don't know if these guys would have even made it much longer. But when they come up to the abbey, you know I'll be feeding them. I got lots of honey for them up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish vacuuming these bees, cutting out this comb, and then I'll show you what we got at the end of it. Well, folks, <laughs> it ain't there no more. Huh? Thank goodness we got that one out of here. And I'm, I'm telling you, there was so little honey in this thing, it's a good thing I did come and pull these bees out and start, I'm gonna start feeding them up at the abbey. And look, here's our bees, our queen. It doesn't look like there's a lot of bees in there, but there are. They're, they're, down in the bottom. It's cold. It is, it's cold, so they're, they're down there. But I got the queen on top, let her get some of their heat. And I'm headed up to the abbey and get these girls into a box. I think that's gonna wrap it up for this one. What do you think, Charlie? I think it was, I think it was successful, very successful. Me too, I mean, it's still kind of chilly. And uh, I do want to get these bees up at the abbey pretty quick. So yeah. that's, all, that's all we got, huh? That's all we have. Well, we Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. We'll be making more. God bless, Mr. Ed. We're out of here. And good time, Charlie. That's me with the swollen lips. <laughs> We're out till the next One video. <laughs> All right. Well, all went well. I just got one sting on the lip. Looks like I had a little Botox. Oh, my word. Can you believe? <laughs> I can't do it because I'm, I got the dog on. <laughs> I won't be able to do it. It's it, you see the um, you see the hive, and I don't want you to see the hive. You just want to see the heat signature. Yeah, I just want to see the heat signature.